If you were to ask us why we love remote island living, well, after all these years, it is still almost impossible to describe the feeling that is life on Ubi. You say peace is just a state of mind. You help me reach it when I leave my behind. In this city chaos and dust in our eyes. Speeding at us, we sweetly walking by. Stick with us as we live our best island life. Exploring with the kids on the stand-up paddle board, snorkeling together on our pristine coral reef and 3,000 metre drop-off, and we scuba dive to the depths of Boopy Point where the fish choose to live freely in their magical underwater world. Good morning, Arlo. Good morning, Ophelia. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. What was that? The what? The bat. What are their names, kids? Boogie, Louie, Louie, actually, there's Boogie, Louie, Hang and Fly. Whoa, why do they have those names? Because they were hanging on the boogie board at first, <laughs> and they were hanging and they were flying. And there's the Timber now, or Timby. Timby? <laughs> <laughs> So do your kids think it's normal to have bats as pets? Do you think most people in Aussie have bats in their houses? No. What was that, Mummy? I like to think of them more as resident locals than pets. That's true. We just share this beautiful home with the bats. Sorry, what did you say? How about I film the flowers? Oh gosh, you love flowers, don't you? All right, let's film the flower. Look at that gorgeous orchid. Wow. <laughs> There's something to be said about remote island living with a family and the apparent ease at which we can escape to the ocean, explore together and reconnect. For us, this is a way of life we choose despite all of the challenges that come along with it. It's surprisingly easy for us to lose track of days to the grind of work and getting jobs done around here. Sometimes days go by without us even getting in the water. So even for us island folk, this life requires us to consciously ground ourselves often. Appreciate what we have in the moment and the opportunities that we get to soak up family time in nature. No, wait, cheeky devils. I'm watching where that's going. There are so many ways to explore with kids. We genuinely love getting out on our stand-up paddle boards to paddle calmly around the lagoon, look for creatures and talk to our kids. Arlo and Ophelia use our SUP adventures as a chance to tell us their stories. Honest or fictitious stories, they only seem to have the courage to share with us in these calm moments on the water. We have had some absolute crackers lately, though it never seems to end up being caught on camera. I promise you, it's these little moments together that draw us back out there again and again and again. Looking for a high quality inflatable sup, we highly recommend you check out Honu. We are so happy to have found a product with such great quality and a brand on a mission that we strongly align with. You can use the links and discount code in the description below to get yourself a board for the sup season ahead and support our channel at the same time. Thanks so much guys, we hope you enjoy this episode. Turtles. Mm -hmm. First and there was one, then there was two, then there was three, then there was four, then there was five, then there was six. <laughs> What's your snack? Oh, yum. Mm. How's it going, girls? Good. We can share like, can't we? Of course mm. we can. Mm -hmm. Sharing is caring. One day we, we, we're going to have a snack, we were, and then what are we doing, Arlo? What are we doing after our snack? One day we're going to 
going for a snorkel. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, babe. some energy to go diving oh, yeah that was a crazy snorkel that was really good guys did you guys have fun i'm like so hungry i'm so hungry too and i think we're gonna go for a dive because it's the last day of the sailfin snapper how do you know it's the last day because it's the day before new moon so all right they, they disappear after that the aggregation will be complete all right <laughs> So we are about to go dive Oopie Point uh, on a beautiful incoming tide. Uh, the reason it's so special today is that it hopefully is the last day of the Hiropa uh, aggregation, which is a sailfin snapper. Yeah. So they're one of the many species that aggregate in the channel here. And because it's been protected for so long, we have such a healthy population of them. It's a pretty incredible sight. Yeah. There's often hundreds of them and they just swim so beautifully together and they're a really beautiful fish Yeah, as well. they're a gorgeous animal. So... Yeah, hopefully we get that, and hopefully we also see 
some sharks, some barracudas. Yeah. yeah. Whatever's happening on Oofy Point. We've just had lunch with the kids. I'm pretty sure this whole dive I'm going to be burping coffee and chili tuna. There's <laughs> the driver, Mosse. Hey, Mosses. <laughs> Katie's new nickname is Packy, if you haven't been following over the last few episodes. I'm the pack horse around here. Look at me go. <laughs> what a woman. The Hirupa, or Sailfin Snapper Aggregation, is a very rare site, only observed in a few locations in the South Pacific at particular times of the year. In fact, this fish species is rarely ever seen unless it's during one of these impressive aggregations. A group spawning occurs on new moon as large numbers come together on a protected reef like Upi. On dusk, spawn are released into the current and carried out into the relatively safe abyss of the open ocean. This extraordinary series of events gives this fragile species the best chance of successful reproduction. We witness the aggregation of Hirupa every year here on Upi Point and we are proud to say that decades worth of protecting this coral reef has allowed an incredibly rare species to continue to breed uninterrupted. What are you guys doing? We just got, it's market day today. Oh, what have you got, Philly? No. Oh, so nice. Oh. And we've got a basket full of delicious fresh food. Whoa. We're gonna make some 
some nibbles. I don't know what exactly. You're making just, nibbles of some kind. Yeah, we're making everything with fresh stuff. I'm not sure what. Cool, man. Okay. Good job, guys. Then I'll wash. We're going to make a red pepper salad, but we can keep a couple of giant peppers for you guys to eat. What? I like the yellow colour. The yellow, pep the yellow peppers? Yeah. They're the best? Yeah, can you run out for Is it good? Yeah. Is it pointy on the end? Oh, a gobble. Does it smell like a chilli? That's the biggest pepper yeah. I've ever seen in this almonds. How's yours, Philly? How about the other huge one that we found? Whoa! Whoa, look at that one! Whoa! Whoa! No. So I don't exactly know what this is that I'm making for dinner. So Bye. Katie told me we were going to have like a, a taste plate. I'm like, oh, that's really good idea. What are we going to put on it? He said, oh, you know, like we can put some, like some nice red peppers and some tomatoes and some cucumber, cucumber and like some kale. <laughs> I said, so like a salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but serve it. No, like, it's not a salad. It's, it's not a, taste a salad. Plate. You serve it like taste plate. And then if we had crackers, we'd be having like a nibbles board, right? But we've got no crackers, so we're going to fry some plantains. <laughs> Can I what? Can we taste it? Do you want me to do a chili check? Yeah. Nah, it's good. Oh, that one's sweet. Mm, yeah, I know. That's really sweet, like that one. Like a this one's good, capsicum. I think. Cool. Hey, you finished the preacher, mate? What's going on? Not yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm eating pepper. No, but, mate, where's the work ethic going in this family, alright? Sitting there eating a the capskin when you're meant to be peeling off leaves. What are you doing? Come on, lift your game. What are you doing? You're meant what, what's going on around this joint? We are never going to get anything ready with the lot with you I, lot just sitting there eating peppers the whole time. I don't think we should be complaining. Right. In the end, it's the simplicity of island life that we love so much. Living in such a way that we are close to the beautiful underwater world and our family. Plus, we never have to get in a car and go to the grocery store to buy things that we really don't need. The important things that matter the most are always in reach. We have an incredible, wholesome life, rich with experiences and time spent together. I have to pinch myself often to even believe that this is our life. It probably wouldn't matter too much where we ended up. I know that we would find gratitude for the moments in everyday life that become memories to last forever. Can you bring it? Lemon well, it's an array of salads, really, with some chips and dip. So we've got plantain chips with a fresh um, pepper dip. It is delicious. Oh my goodness! I think I'll have to do the recipe on the blog for this one. I made it up, and it's bloody delicious. And then we've got a green bean salad, fresh tuna salad. It seriously doesn't get fresher than this. On market day. What's with the lemon? So if you've got any questions from this episode or just in general, make sure you comment below and we will do our best to answer them in the upcoming episode. I reckon we should call it like Coconut Wireless or Coco Chats or... Coco Questions. Coco Questions. You to write in your comment, you got to write Coconut Wireless Question or Coco Wireless Question or Coco Question so we know that's what you're talking about because obviously we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, um, and we'll see you next week. We'll that see you in the next fun one. Fun adventure. Liana. Liana. <laughs> <laughs>